Hey there guys, I'm back. And I still don't have diamond armor. Whatever. So seeing as I don't remember exactly what I showed the last time, because I've been doing other things. I have my skeleton over there. I made a waterfall that starts starts there and it overflows 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 I can't get in here er, er, there we go overflows the walkway that I got here so I still need to figure out how I'm what I want to do with this because it just doesn't look as good as it could I have been harvesting a lot of uh, sugarcane. Kind of needed it. Oh, excuse me. Oh, worked last night, and yeah, I've been up since about mm, three o'clock yesterday, and it's nine a nine in the morning right now. So I got my cow farm, gotten plenty of use out of that so far. I'm lagging about, oh, running at only 33, pick it up. Dang, it's slow. Oh well, it comes with recording. So I've been doing a lot of work, I haven't really done much up there. I have encased this, changed it to glass in the front, kind of added angles off this because since this bottom is all straight and rigid so I kind of wanted to do a kind of an outlier. So we got that there. What I'm thinking about doing on this this ridge I think, or I may do it inside this one since this is going to be my this was going to be my farm one. I may hollow out another section and have a walkway coming down from the inside in this glass encased area, and have that as a sugar cane farm. Uh, yeah, I've added a little accents with the the bricks. The water still running down. I got. That one there. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to be yawning this entire recording. So if I look in here, you can see blaze rod, blaze rod, blaze rod, blaze rod. If you can w even venture to imagine what I've done to get all of those blaze rods. But we will get there. So up here, I've kind of been adding to it. It was really open, so I added the water contour, so they come from sources here and here, and flow towards the center, so it all just goes flows. Um, up here, I have, I have my roof axis still. This is all half slab, so nothing will spawn up here, thankfully. And since nothing spawns on leaves, these are the only things I have to worry about. Although I've had a f uh, creep, odd creeper here and there. So I got my enchanting over here and thinking about possibly um, walling off a little bit. But I'm not sure since I have storage and storage. I have my uh, brewing over here. A lot of uh, thanks to grain. Got the slime balls. Funny story. Watch his newest newest video when it comes out because when I where I work, it's kind of I have a lot of free time in the middle of the night, so I try to get on Minecraft every now and then and play. So I got a little bit. A little bit in there, and 
but yeah, I try to get on, and when I'm trying to get online and there, it messes up, I, per se, where I'll log in and I'm I'm lagged so f hard. Like I could lay, place a torch and break it, and nothing would pop off, or I'd shoot an arrow, bow and arrow, and nothing would nothing would blow. I'll maybe I'll record it and put it at the end of this this video. But while he was trying to record, I was trying to get online, and it I spent like ten minutes of ten minutes straight of like dashing has lo and signed in, dashing has lo signed logged off, dashing signed in, logged off, light signed in, logged off, signed in, logged off, and. Like I had warned him on Skype, so he knew I was gonna attempt it. Oh, by the way, I'm on with y'all. But he knew I was gonna attempt. Uh, or I warned him. I still got stuff sitting there. I'm gonna go take them. I cleared all of this out here. But he says later uh, on Skype says that he had been recording and I didn't know or else I wouldn't have even really tried so there's his video is just gonna be spammed by me I feel feel so bad for it but I, I'm looking forward to hear what his commentary was during the middle of that just because how random that was. So as you can tell, I'm I made a path specifically to come this direction. So a while ago, I was looking for new chunks so I could get quartz because you know, new block, new stuff. I wanted to get quartz, um, and we're going quite far away. I think this is like 300 block run or something like that. I hadn't even noticed. It's a lot shorter than what my nether tunnel is. And I get to here and you can follow the stone brick road. That's kind of similar to the yellow brick road. But I found a nether fortress. And a pigment on fire. But essentially what I'm do planning on doing, not this the entire way, but this. Because I want to keep these as the axe heads. <laughs> Oh man, I'm sorry. Um, I want to keep these as the accents. So what I'm going to do is place these all along the edge. This is all half slab. So nether, wither skellies can't spawn because they, sp they spawn more so on here, I've noticed. But they can't spawn because that's there. And this is half slab, so blazes can't spawn. but here's a little intersection. So you get up here, you can see I have a little section down here, which I, I'm still working on beautifying this. I've got to work out a design I like for down there. But, so I got the anvil, nether, or ender chest, which, there we go. So I got alluding to. That's that's one of my good ones. And then in my enchanting, level thirty enchanting table. Got a brewing stand. I'm gonna bring a whole bunch of stuff stuff over. This over here is gonna be storage, which is why I brought these. And uh I will add a design later, but right now what I main thing I want to do is get this half slab so nothing will spawn here and kill me like or kill whoever's AFKing to to produce uh, or to get the blazes to spawn, which they still spawn quite a few because I think I killed like 30 or 40 of them. It's amazing how how many 
how much XP you get from killing killing them. Oh, I almost had enough. Oh. I'll use this so I can tear it up easily. So while I was at work, I went AFK right here. Little did I remember that I forgot that this side was open and I came back and I was fireballed to death and all my stuff was gone. If it was not so pleasant as you would expect. It sucked hardcore. But that's Minecraft. What do you expect? You go away and you die. But in here is where the spawner is, so I kind of beautified it up. What I got is... Oh, how big of a section is it? Excuse me. Oh. So I have pistons in there, sticky pistons, with uh, pressure plates. So once, once the blazes spawn, they'll land on the pressure plates and get pressed into the middle where there's another, there's a 3x3 three three section in which so it starts out like 4x4, four 5x5 four, five five, and it goes down to 3x3 three three, where I have 1, 2, 3, 1, 1, 2, 3 so wherever they land they get pressed into a single single column which is this column and no matter how far I come up here where I stand they can't see me other than they're being loud Although I'm pretty sure this is going to be loud in the recording and I'll turn it down after this but just from that little bit I got over two and a half levels. I'm going to turn this down again. Have a little bit of sound, but not not too much. I'm still waiting so we can get texture packs and such set up again. Try to get, can't wait until 1.5 comes out, so OptiFine will be update and all of that. But I may not be on Minecraft for a little while. Uh, well, I will be on, but I have a couple, uh, there's a couple climbing comps that come up, that are coming up in the area that I am, uh, one at the climbing gym that I go to, and then one is at UWS, or my college that I am alumni of, if you wanted to know, if anybody wanted to know, I am 20 four now. Um, graduated, working, all of, all of that fun jazz. Ooh, what's that? I don't like you. Really? There. That was all jagged before, so it's better. What I want to do is I want to get half slabs and put them all the way up along along the edges so it's like nether brick, regular brick, nether brick. But that is my nether spawner XP farm set up. So if anybody's watching this on from the server wanna come visit, that's where it is. I have a whole bunch of these. I'm gonna close this off. I know it looks ugly now, but I wanted to go safe. I'll probably venture out and make a. I want to make a wither skeleton pad out here. Is one section I'll show you here shortly. Come on, go, go, go. Oh. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, he came from the outside. Get out of here. Ooh, I was hoping not to hit one of them. Uh-oh, run, 
Run! Run! Uh, but I have all of these intersection areas. Oh my god. I'm gonna get hit. See, he spawned right over there. We got one spawned right there. But I, what I'm thinking about doing is kind of making a pad that goes here, kind of incorporates this and goes over it. Ah, damn it, I'm on fire. Alright, I'm out of here. <laughs> if I want to make a wither skeleton farm in that fortress, that'll be my all purpose fortress, I guess you can say. Just because, just because. So that was one of the things that I'd been spending a lot of time on. Um, the other, I will show you once I get to there. I'll be right back. And I am back. And I'm on a train. I'm on a train. That, it took quite a few stacks of iron to make but so worth it I could just sit back and ride all the way to spawn in a fraction of the time it is absolutely amazing this is on okay sorry I got distracted by something um but I recently have been spending a lot of time working on Spawn. I know I just put out uh, a couple of videos of me and Grain working on the video or working on Spawn. But but since there's been a lot of work done since then, I I have been there's hell. Uh, I've put in a lot of work on my own. Um, and there's actually hasn't been a whole lot of people coming back to build that spawn, which is which is sad. I know uh I believe Errant, Grain, Enzo, and myself are the only ones that have built that spawn yet. And mine I know mine isn't exactly what you'd call finished yet either, but I've been splitting my time. There's Fred. He's he showed up sometime. I haven't put in a whole lot of time into making my spawn home. Um, I do have video of making that, but I don't know if I'm gonna post that one just because it it kind of showed the the audio didn't really come through that well. You could hear me, but you couldn't hear Grain. But here's the spot. You're coming up on it. Whoa. Oh, that's the wrong way. My vines. Let's say I'm out here. Out. With Frank and Fluffy Chicken, which is Frank's girlfriend. Um, a lot of work. Jaws taken over that one finally fully we got moto way down there his place is pretty impressive we have the the end we still have to kill the dragon we got enzo down there gun and errant here grain who is awesome build in the process if you you should see it since Although, since most people would be watching this, would be watching Grains already. Alright. So, um, Ingmar made his famous, 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 uh, sp uh, spawn gardens again, which is awesome that he did that. Saves so much time. It's really efficient. It's got the stuff out front now, too. So from here, spawn doesn't look like it's changed all that much. Huh, somebody took it. <laughs> I brought from that blaze spawner, I took and placed a chest 
right in the center here with uh, almost two stacks of blaze rods and just filled it with signs saying free, take, and whatever, whatever such. Got the, the spawn, enchanting, storage. I contributed an ender chest to it. But since we can since we continued on with this style um walkway, it's just nice since there's no snow won't land on it. But essentially all I've done is now we have Enzo um added I did a lot of terraforming and added one here or plot here and then a plot over here on this level so if we looked underneath it's kind of jutted out a little bit and I added a whole bunch of walkways down here I just got that one at least I should say uh, terraformed this, terraformed that one there but terraformed this out this is underneath mine I'm thinking about having um, from the center here, I'm have it, thinking about having some sort of waterfall effect, um, if I, if I can, I just gotta put, like, torch next to it, but I think about doing that all the way up, as I, I'm gonna build up higher than where I am, so, this will go up higher and it'll kind of just cut all the way straight down through the uh, the build. It's Aaron's place. What I'm thinking about doing is maybe making a bridge and making another plot over there. But I don't know if I'm gonna need it since there's been nobody building here. As you can see, one, two, three, four builds. Which is kind of sad. I know there's that one, but I can't remember who built that. But I got a few over here kind of jump from Taiga to Extreme Hills. And then back to Taiga. So, somebody, if they didn't want snow, or if they want half and half, you can take this one that's in Extreme Hills and Taiga, or you can take one that's in a fully Extreme Hills. So it's kind of, I thought was kind of a cool touch. Whoa, that's weird. Um, this one just connects up with it over there. What I want to do is I want to connect it over here to the zombie spawner and I'm gonna make this look a whole lot nicer as you can see I kinda worked on it um, but what I've done is I've made another pathway but I made this one fully fully under the ice I made sure that these are down far enough that it wouldn't melt the ice um, then this, so I connected the two spawners. This is just a simple. I have a whole bunch of hoppers underneath here, six hoppers, and it collects everything that is uh, dropped. But all it is, let's see if we can get a couple to come through. Oh, there we go. There's one, but they all they just come through, and they're in the water and they drowned, and it's perfect if you're planning on going AFK for an extended period of time. Um, I've made six stacks of wool by doing this, and you should start taking damage here shortly. Theoretically. I don't know, but he'll he'll die eventually. And then this just connects up with this main section here. And 
but those are the the two newest updates the two sections that I've been putting in a lot of my time into the blaze blaze farm and spawn you know kind of both for the benef betterment of the uh, the server I mean if anybody wants to come use the spawner they're more than welcome I do have a uh, skeleton that skeleton spawner and zombie spawner you got the spider spawner I mean we're we're set all we got to do is we got to get that uh, get an ender grinder set up so we can you know use enderman for the XP oh, hey, look at that there it is this daylight sensor using to power all of these I think there's is there one here yeah there it is um so yeah, stay tuned for the hilarity on Grain's ep episode because I'm pretty sure it's going to be funny to watch. I know I'm going to have a blast. So until next time, guys, take it easy. Peace.